Hi everyone, this is Big here from Coco Zini. Today's tutorial is on this vest or jacket or whatever you want to call it. So I made it a few weeks ago, but I was so busy so I couldn't upload it. So I finally was able to upload it here. And um, I love this vest because it's very versatile. You can wear it on anything. You can wear it on pant like I have here. You can wear it on a dress and you can wear it on a pant or short and you can combine it any way you want to combine it um if you like this and you want to make it you can come along with me before i get started if you are new here don't forget to subscribe to this channel so go ahead and hit the subscribe button and also there's a notification bell next to the subscribe button go ahead and hit that so you can get notified when i have new uploads on the channel if you're a returning subscriber thank you for always coming over to see my tutorials and I appreciate you guys okay let's get started for the sake of this tutorial I'm using the right side of the fabric and I have three yards of this particular fabric I have folded it into two and what I have done is that I have ruled a long line up on top of the fabric like that and that will be my shoulder line okay so i'm also going to measure how long i want the vest to be i want my vest to be 43 inches long so i'm going to also going to add two inches to it making it 45 and that will be for the hem so here is me measuring out how long I want the vest to be. So I have measured out 45 and I've also ruled a line on the 45 inches mark. I will be moving my fabric up and down because I don't have enough space on my table. So bear with me on this. Then we're going to move to the corner of the fabric. That is a folded corner of the fabric. I'm going to move it so you can see it a little bit better. So from that shoulder line that I marked, I'm going to mark one and a half inches. This is going to be my back bodice. So I'm going to start with the back. So I'm going to mark one and a half inches right there. Then across on that shoulder line, I'm going to mark three and a half inches. Then I'm going to go ahead and connect it together. So when I'm done, I'm going to measure my shoulder to shoulder divided by two. My shoulder to shoulder is 15 divided by two is seven and a half. So I'm going to mark down that seven and a half right on that shoulder line. So whatever yours is, just mark it down on that shoulder line. Then I'm also going to add extra three inches to it. Like that. Because the vest is going to be a very um, ease vest. So it's a little bit big. And um, so that's it. Um, on that line, I'm going to measure... Um, my arm all divided by two so right on that three inches extra three inches line i'm going to come down and i'm going to measure my arm all measurement divided by two so mine is 18 divided by two is nine and i'm going to go ahead and mark it right there so because this vest has a lot of ease in it i'm also going to add ease to my sleeve or arm all so i'm going to add three inches to that nine inches that I had earlier. But I'll grab my ruler and I will just rule it, mark a line down from that shoulder line up to the ammo line. Then I'm also going to draw another line across, starting from the center front. This is going to be our bust line. If your bust is bigger than your hips, you want to use your bust measurement on this line. 
But if your hips is bigger than your bust, you want to use your hip measurement on this line. So mine is my hips, which is 44 inches divided by 4, 11. So I'm going to add some ease to it. 11, I'm going to add 2 inches of ease to it. So that's 13. Then I'm going to add 1 inch seam allowance, making 14. We're going to add the shoulder slope. So on that line right there, we're going to measure 1 inches or 1 inch, sorry. And we are going to connect it to that neck line. Like that. So when you're done, you're going to measure from that shoulder slope line to the bust line, whatever measurement you have, divided by 2. Mine is 11 divided by 2. Is five and a half so I'm going to mark five and a half on that line right there then on that corner I usually put measure one inch and mark it it guides me when I'm trying to draw my armhole line so I use that corner to just grade my ammo line Then I'm going to grab my curve ruler. Then starting from the five and a half line, I'm going to connect my ammo like, like so. Okay, then we're going to go next is, we are going to measure our shoulder to hip. We don't need the waist measurement. So we're not going to use our waist on this vest. So I'm going to measure my shoulder to hip. And I'm just going to mark it. I will draw a line across on that mark that I marked. My shoulder to hips is 24. So I've already marked that 24 and I'm just drawing a cross line across. Um, the measurement we have on that bust line is the same one we're going to use all the way down. Okay. So we're just going to join that measurement from that arm O and we are going to join it to the hip line like that. We're going to do uh, the same thing to um, the, the hem line. So this measurement, we're also going to transfer it to our hemline. Then I'm going to mark, mark it on the 14 inches right there, which is my hips divided by 4, 11, plus 2 inches is and 1 inch seam allowance. And I'm also going to add one more inch just to give it a little A shape like that. Then what I'm going to do, I'm just going to use my ruler to connect it to, to that hip line. And that's it. Then I will just go ahead and, and cut it out. Before you cut your neck, remember to add your seam allowance to your shoulder. I always forget to do that. So go ahead and add half inch seam allowance to your shoulder. Then grade the neck. And go ahead and cut it. So that is the back bodies so now I'm going to move to the front part so here is what I did on the front part also it is on fold so because I want my vest to overlap first I measured one inch I add one inch to the front 
like that all the way from the top to how long I want my vest to be. And this will allow my vest to overlap when I wear them. But if you don't want your vest to overlap, you don't need the extra one inch on it. Okay, so I'm going to grab my back bodice. I'm going to use it to cut my front bodice. So I'm going to lay it on top of the front bodice. So I'm going to start from that line. Then I'm going to lay it and align it to that line. Make sure it's properly aligned like that. Then you can go ahead and start cutting it. So I am done cutting it here. So once I'm done cutting, then I'm going to now adjust the ammo for the front part. And in order to do that, I would first draw out that bust line for my guide. Then I'll go ahead and measure back my 11 inches then mark the five and a half mid middle, which is 11 divided by two. So I'm marking out my five and a half right there. So for the front sleeve, we're going to measure three quarter. Then I'm going to use my curve ruler to just connect starting from that shoulder line. And I'll connect it to that mark. And here I'm just trying to draw down the hammer line so it'll be easy for me to, to connect it. Okay, so then now I'm going to connect, starting from that mark that I marked, I will connect it to the shoulder slope right there. When you're done drafting the shoulder slope, so at the neck right there, you will just take your ruler and you're going to connect from that neck to that bust line. And this is the front bodice, just so you know. So when you're done connecting that line like that, then you're going to go ahead and you're going to cut it and you're going also going to cut the ammo too. Okay, and here is the ammo. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut the ammo too. And you know the front was on fold, so I'm going to go ahead and open up the front like so. Here are the two bodies. Here is the back bodies and here is the front bodies. Here is the sleeve. So I have two fabric together, one for each sleeve, and it is folded like so okay so what we're going to do is we have to make sure that um the length the wideness of the sleeve is wide enough for the hamul so you know, remember our hamul is i think 12 or 13 i can't remember i think it's 12. so we have to make sure that the sleeve sleeves wideness is a little like a one uh, half an inch more than that you see what i'm saying right here so it can cover the ammo because it's a very wide sleeves okay so that is that part now we'll measure how long we want the sleeve to be so go ahead measure from your shoulder point to how long you want your, your sleeves to be minus three because the three has been added to the shoulder of the, the, the bodies. Let's assume after you minus the three, you want your sleeve measurement to be 10. So you are going to measure 10 plus half an inch that we're going to use in joining the bodies and the sleeve 
that you're going to measure one inch for the hem or one and a half. So whatever measurement you have, just add one and a half or two to it. So I have measured mine, so I have marked it and I'm going to mark it also down there. Then I'll take your ruler, join the marks together Then I'm going to go ahead and cut it out. And here, here is what it looks like. So because we don't want the sleeve to be just too wide, we're going to reduce the hem of the sleeve. So we're just going to measure one inch from the sleeve hem. Then we're going to draw a line that is going to to grade it like that to you know to the to the arm oh I'm sorry like that so that way you know you're go you are able to like slim down your sleeves and I'm going to go ahead and cut it so that is our sleeves Now we're going to work on the placket. So grab your back bodies. On the neck, we're going to measure the neck. So whatever measurement you get, go write it down somewhere. Four and a half is what I got in mine. Then grab your front bodies. So we're going to measure the front part of the front bodies. So we're starting from the shoulder up there. And we're going to measure it all the way down okay like I am doing right now and there it is so whatever measurement you get you write it down so we're going to cut two of it. So I got I think 47 in mine plus the four and a half that I got on the neck of the back bodies making 51 and a half. So I'm going to cut two of, of that. So here is the, the placket. So it's by six inches. So if you don't want yours to be this wide you can just cut five inches because I want mine to be wide. That is why I cut six inches. So I cut two of it. We're going to start sewing now. Grab your front and back bodies. So first grab your back bodies and place it down with right side facing up like this. Then grab your front bodies. and um, join the shoulders together. So here is my front bodies. The right side of my front bodies is going to face the right side of my back bodies. Then I'm going to join the shoulders together, right there. So we're going to go to the machine and sew with half an inch seam allowance. We're going to join the other shoulder also And we're going to stitch it with half an inch seam allowance okay so I'm done here stitching it I also finished the edges you can see closely so I did the two parts so before I go ahead and do the side seam I love adding pocket to my stuff so I'm going to add pocket I have a pattern for this pocket down below. I'm going to leave a link so you can download it if you want it. So I'm going to add my pocket to the side before I move ahead. But if you don't have that, if you don't want to add pocket, just go ahead and sew down your side seam. 
Uh, also, if you don't have the pattern for the pocket, the quick way to draw out a pocket is just to lay your hand on your fabric like that. Make sure you have four pieces, then use your marker to just mark around your hand like that and just cut it out. So that's the easy way to cut a pocket. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to attach my pocket to my side with right side facing each other. So the right side of my pocket is facing the right side of my bodies. Then I'm going to take it to the machine and I'm going to sew it down with a quarter of an inch seam allowance. So here is what it looks like. I have gone ahead and I have sewn it with quarter of an inch seam allowance and I've also finished the edges. I've pressed it out like that and have done the same thing to all the other sides. So what I'm going to do next is that I'm just now going to go ahead to sew down the side seam. And here is what I'm going to do. So with, uh, with one inch seam allowance, I'm going to start from up there. So I'm going to stitch all the way. When I get to the pocket side, I'm going to pivot and I'll go in with half an inch seam allowance. Then I'm going to sew the pocket all the way around with half an inch seam allowance. When I get here, I'm going to pivot, then sew it out a little bit. Then go all the way with one inch seam allowance all to the hem. So here is what it looks like after I got done sewing it. See? I've gone around the pocket and back again. Then continue down to the hem. And I've also went ahead to finish the sides and also the edges of the sleeves. So now we're going to grab our sleeves. You know, when I was, when I got done sewing my side seam, I totally forgot to press the record. So when I was cutting the sleeve, I didn't know the record was not on. So I am so sorry, but I will try and explain as much as possible what I did. So what I did is I laid the sleeve down under the bodice. Then I place the bodies on top of it like this, like this. Then I just went ahead and I cut the shape of the hammer out. And that is how I got the sleeves. So now I'm going to start at attaching the sleeves to the bodies. So I'm going to turn my sleeve to the right side. And that is my bodies. So I'm going to place my sleeves inside the bodies like that. But I'll make sure I start from the shoulder seam and I'll also pin it with a side seam of the sleeve and a side seam of the bodies together. So I'm going to pin it right there. So now go ahead and pin all the way around. Take it to the machine and sew around with half an inch seam allowance. Now I'm done adding the sleeves here. So I'm going to go ahead and I will do the hem of the sleeves with one inch seam allowance. I'm going to sew it all the way around. Also, I'm going to do the hem of the bodies and I'm going to sew it around with one inch and a half seam allowance all the way around so when you're done with that here is what it looks like so here is my hem and um, here is my sleeves Okay, so what we're going to do next is that we are going to add the placket. So here is my placket. I am 
going to so I have two if you remember we cut two of this so now I'm going to join it together okay so we're going to join it together we'll take it to the machine and we're going to join it with half an inch seam allowance right there here is what it looks like after I got done joining it and I also ironed it flat like so and here it is so if you want if you don't want yours to be that big you can always like I said before I'm using six inches so if you don't want yours to be that big you can use five or four depending on what size you want so we are going to attach this placket to the bodies so that place that we join is going to be the center back remember that so that is going to stay in the center back so what some people do when they add their own placket sewing this kind of um, top or vest so what they do is they just grab the placket like that and they just add it to the bodice like this and they just sew it all around but I'm not gonna do that so I'm going to do mine another way because it's always neater that way so here is what I'm going to do I'm going to open my up like that I'm going to attach that line to the center back. I'll use a pin to hold it. Like that. Then I'm going to pin it all the way around till I get to the hem of the dress. I mean, not the dress, the vest. So go ahead and pin it all the way around so that is the end of one so you see where my hem is so I'm putting one pin in there so I have gone ahead and I have pinned it then I have sewn it with half an inch seam allowance all the way around after I got done pinning it you see it right there so I have some extra there so we'll we'll deal with that later so here is what it looks like closely so the same part is facing the placket then we're going to fold this half an inch like that okay then we are going to turn it the, the right side then fold it this way I hope you under, you see what I, what I did okay so like that you see it close now you make sure that line is aligned so you're placing it on that hem line on that stitch line right there Make sure you place it on that line right there see on that stitch line is what I mean not that chalk line but the stitch line then we are going to take it to the machine and we'll sew it down right there right by the end of the hem is where we're going to sew it down at then we're going to cut out, cut out the excess so I have gone and I have sewn it down here you see my stitch right there is right by the hem end of the hem and I'm going to take a scissors and I'm going to cut out the excess and I'm going to leave a quarter of an inch seam like that so that corner I'm going to snip out that corner so it doesn't get bulky when I turn it so once I'm done here is what I'm going to do so I'm going to push in that angle in and voila 
that is our placket. You see how neat it looks? So that is how I do my plaquettes when it comes to stuff like this. So we're not done. So the last thing we're going to do is we're going to push the seam inside like that. Okay, then we're going to continue. Remember we folded this into half an inch. Then we're going to place it on top of that stitch that we pushed in. So if you have pin, this is the time to use your pin. I don't have my pin around right now and that is why I couldn't show you how I pinned it. So I'm go I go ahead and I pin it all the way around um, and I'm going to stitch it on the right side. You know, some people stitch it on the inside, but I like to stitch it on top on the right side. So make sure you pin it all the way around so it will be much easier for you. Okay? Then you're going to stitch on top. So as you're stitching it, it's also picking up the fabric at the back of it. So here is what it looks like after I got done. And I'm going to show you a closer look just to see what it looks like in a closer look. So here is it. You see, you see how it is? It's so neat. And here is what the inside looked like too. So that is that is um that is what how to sew this vest. So if you are new here to this channel um, and you're able to watch it up to here, don't forget to turn on your notification and don't forget to subscribe. If you have any question on this particular tutorial, leave me a comment down below, and I'll try as much as possible to answer your questions. And if you are a returning subscriber. Thank you for coming here today. I will try as much as possible to do another version of this vest so I can be able to show you the sleeve part properly. Hopefully I won't have problem with a with the record we record in it. So until the next tutorial, have a great one and stay safe. God bless you. Until the next time. Bye bye.